Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Liz. Today we are in Kelsey Simone's room, AKA my daughter's room. She is currently living in New York City and well, I have my room back. When we moved into this house over two years ago, I gave her the master bedroom so that she can film her videos and do all the shooting for her content here. But now that she's not here, mama and papa have their room back and so it's going to be quite interesting to take her very traditional very elegant beautiful style and turn it into more of my minimalistic modern style so i thought it would be interesting to bring you guys along into this room transformation and so i'm excited to see what becomes of this space i don't really have any sort of um idea of what i'm going to do yet i'm just going to wing it i'm going to start with my removing the very obvious uh, elegant chandelier. And I'm gonna bring my bed in. We're gonna remove a lot of what she has still left behind here and um, start with a clean slate and we're gonna take it from there. I think it is so modern and so chic. Okay, guys, so I just put the carpet down. The tones match up my bed pretty well, and I like that the fabrics are almost kind of close, too. is a really exciting video. My daughter Kelsey, who you guys know, she has a channel on this platform. I will link her down below. She's in New York doing wonderful things. And so mom and dad reclaimed her bedroom. Um, now that she's not here anymore, we kind of did our thing. And you guys know I'm a minimalist. Kelsey's a maximalist. And I wanna show you how very easy it is to transform styles. Some of you might get stuck um, because when there is so much, you're like, what do I do? And you get, it can be a little overwhelming. I wanna show you guys how very easy it is to just um, do a few edits and transform a room into an entirely different space. So the bedroom is finally finished. I was able to just do a few last minute touches on styling and I'm pretty happy with it. Although I feel in the future, I might switch out a few things, but for now, I'm really happy with the turnout. So without further ado, let me show you the room tour. All right, you guys, here we go. So you may have remembered her dresser. This is, we kept her dresser because I really liked it. And I kept it very minimal. So here you'll see um, just a few marble trays and some of my favorite books there. This is my personal artwork. Um, if you follow any collections, you'll know that I did a curated collection last month, and this is one of the pieces that I did. And if you saw my last video last week, this is the amazing um, lamp that I found at the Crate and Barrel um, outlet. And it's an all brass, super heavy by the way, um, conical shade. 
I scored this amazing linen chair from Target. Can you guys believe it? This looks like such an original mid-century piece. Um, I just love, love, love its shape. I just love it. I love the color. I'm gonna zoom into the fabric so you guys can see. Guys, this was $198 with free shipping. I could not even believe it. That was in my cart faster than I can blink. So, these are speakers, by the way, if you guys are wondering what is on the wall. This is what sets it, light switch, God focus. Okay, and then over here, um, I brought my bookcases in from the other room and just made it super simple. I didn't want to um, congest the shelves. I kept them more for like my fragrances, um, a couple of books, a couple of pieces of pottery, some more of my artwork, by the way. And yeah, some of my favorite little boxes, um, I store things in them. So that's also a nice way to declutter if you have like a lot of little things and you just want it to look really nice and pretty, save your boxes um, and then you can store them in there. So then this was a desk that I was using in my office downstairs, which by the way, it came in yesterday. My new table from the outlet came in yesterday from CB2. So I'm so excited to show you that. Um, I just have a very simple book here, my favorite brand of candles. This is the other piece I got from the CB2 outlet. This is a terrazzo ball. Love that so much. I think it really just pops right on the table. And then this is a faux, faux fur um, on my little Seska chair, my mid-century Seska chair. I thought it just brightened it up a little bit more um, in here. And then on this side, I just added some more um, pottery. This is a beautiful vase that Kelsey bought me for Christmas a couple of years ago. Some more of my artwork, my fragrances, my boxes, just keeping things kind of tidy and not so over congested. And then these beautiful sheer curtains, which I'm focusing on the curtains. That's why my face is so dark, but you would not believe where I got these from. Guys, these are from Amazon. I will link them down below. They're so good. And these are 108 inches. This is a really tall ceiling. So um, they cascade on the floor. Let me back out. I love that. I just think it looks dreamy and beautiful and elegant. Um, there were linen ones up here, but I felt like I wanted a little bit more light. This room is all white. So as we turn around, I want to show you a few weeks ago, I shared on my Instagram, these beautiful lane side tables. They have like this textured effect on them. And I think they are so cool. They really match the room so, so well. And guys, these are temporary. These lamps, I'll show you the other one in a minute. They're 1989 plastered lamps with um, a pleated shade. And these are gonna be up for sale later today at 12 p.m. on my Vendi collections. I'm gonna post the link right up here. Make sure you visit this link if you're interested in these lamps at 12 p.m. and as well as some other cool things that'll be on there. My bed is from Rove Concepts. And these are my linen, um, my linen sheets from Target. I think these are the Casa Luna sheets. And then up here, you guys may have seen, I did some artwork because this wall was so, so large. I needed something to really balance. I wanted to keep the space very, very minimal. So I got a huge 60 by 30 inch canvas. I know it doesn't look that big on the camera, but it's a very large canvas. Um, and there's the other lamp and the other table, by the way. But yes, so my bed is from Row of Concept. It is a floating, I think this is called the Ophelia bed. Um, let me just turn around, give you another angle. Yeah, so if I come here, you guys can see it's like a floating bed. It looks like it's lifted up off the ground, but there are legs um, a little bit further back there. And look how pretty the wind is blowing today. It's such a beautiful fall day. We have such a pretty view too. Oh, I wanted to show you, this is the carpet that I got from, guess where, Home Goods. And I really love how it ties into the bed. If you guys can see, the colors are just 
very complementary to one another. Okay, so something that we immediately did was change the life fixture here. Kelsey had a beautiful chandelier. You guys know that was like the statement piece in the room, aside from the fireplace that was in here as well. It was right over there. And I knew that the life fixture had to really set the stage for the space. So it was the first thing that I purchased. And this is a Kate Spade um, lamp. It's very minimal. It's just simple. <laughs> I didn't want anything fussy. I just wanted it just like that. Just a nice, minimal, artsy looking light fixture. Then we decided to bring the, um, the bookshelves over, the desk in the center. And then I brought the chair, had like a little sitting area here. I might create some more artwork and put it right up here. Um, but for now, I'm really happy with this. And right behind me is the dresser and right outside is the door to exit. So this room right here is my bathroom, which I'm not gonna show you that yet because I'm gonna save that for another video. We're completely revamping this bathroom. It's enormous. It's a huge, huge bathroom. And then in this room um, is my dressing room, which I feel like that's a whole nother video too because I really wanna make that cool. So in an upcoming video, I will show you how I style this closet. And yeah, so this is, this is a huge change. Let me just tap. So this is, this is a huge change, guys, from what it was before. Um, super happy with the way it turned out. What do you guys think? It's a huge change, huh? I might tweak a few things but for now i'm really happy with just how it looks it's just so simple all right you guys so i want to go over a few things that will help you to kind of bring a modern minimalist space into your own home if you're looking to switch gears really like modern and minimalism i want to share with you a couple of tips to help navigate you into creating that kind of space. So the first thing is to really consider the neutral tone of your room. You wanna paint it a very light neutral color. That's gonna really help to bring a lot of light into your space. It's gonna make it look larger. It's gonna make it look sophisticated. Um, secondly, I would also consider your window treatments. Your window treatments will um, I feel sometimes make or break your room. If you have the wrong window treatments, it can completely, it doesn't matter how expensive or beautiful your furniture is, if it is the wrong fabric and overwhelming, it can completely just destroy the whole look of the room. So I actually changed mine out twice before I figured out that the shears were what was really gonna work in this space. Originally I had some linen drapes on there and they were cool, but they were a little too thick and it was, it was really just not letting enough light in. I really love how the shears, and I have shades behind them, so it's not like people can see right in. I do have shades behind them, but the shears just really bring and push all that light throughout this space, and it brightens up the walls and everything else in this room. Another thing is to make sure that you're decluttering. If you love modern minimalism, you definitely want to curate your space very, very well. You want to donate and maybe get some boxes and put some things in your garage and really declutter your space. Less is more when you are switching over to more of a modern minimalist space. So once upon a time, I was a maximalist and I did, um, I actually used to love what Kelsey was into and Kelsey had a beautiful space. I still love her space. It's just personally not something that I want. I feel like I already had her phase. So that's why we are on different places with design style. I still absolutely love her chic, elegant style. Um, but I already did that. And so I kind of, I'm here now. This is where I'm at. I used to be a maximalist and I used to have so much stuff, lots of picture frames on the walls, lots of artwork, lots of, you know, statues and sculptures and vases and candles. And it was just everywhere and books and um, it became overwhelming. And so not that that was a problem. I just, I wanted something a little bit different. I, you know, it wasn't until like about three, four years ago when I really started loving and adapting to more of a minimalist um, sort of style. I really love having less in the space. For some reason, it's just something that either you have that inside of you or you don't. Some people love a lot of things and they need to have a lot of things in their space and that's absolutely okay. 
I just feel more at peace with less around me. Um, it really resonates and that's just it. So if you are wanting to change that, make sure that that is something, that there are things that you can do without in your space, that there are things that you don't really want to hold on to. So when you're curating your space, you want to pull things or keep things that are um, really contributing to the, the design of your room. So for instance, here I have on these bookshelves, I have um, just a few of my favorite books, a few um, art pieces that really match and blend and go with the space. So uh, my perfume bottles, um, I have them displayed, but I have a few of them. The rest of them are in the bathroom. So I put a few of my favorites on there. Then I use shoe boxes, which is, I feel, a great way to hide a lot of things because typically we need our storage space, right? So without losing that space, the boxes act as a little storage bin where I can tuck away any little things I don't want people to see on the shelves and still keep it neat, clean, and tidy. So guys, don't throw out those boxes. Um, make sure, and if they're not white, you can easily just spray paint them. We have done that in the past. Um, you can spray paint them. You can wrap them with paper, whatever, um, whatever works for you. So another tip would be to consider your light fixtures. Light fixtures, again, would either make or break your space. Um, these lamps, even though I'm not keeping them, they are for sale. They blended into the room. So I brought them up to show, um, to really showcase the room. Um, and if they don't sell, I'm not going to be mad. They're so cute. Um, I really love them, and but I have a feeling someone someone's already going to claim these. Um, so the light fixtures, and especially the one that's up here, guys. So see, this is all kind of just telling the same. They're all within the same family. It's all very um, sorry. It's all very modern and sculptural, and that's that's kind of like the key I want you to um, to kind of remember. The last thing I want to say is to consider the furniture pieces that you choose. I go antiquing a lot. You guys know I own VendiCollections.com, so I love looking and hunting for vintage because mid-century modern um, are pieces anywhere from like the 1940s all the way to like the 70s, and a lot of those pieces are sculptural and very architectural. And I love, love, love looking for those type of pieces. So these were such an awesome, awesome buy. Um, I found these in Philadelphia and I absolutely, that was just like hitting gold. They're from Lane, by the way. Um, people who know the furniture company would absolutely know that those are a great piece of furniture to find. My bed is new. Um, I purchased this last year from Rove Concepts and I absolutely love it. My chair that was here is an old vintage um, mid-century modern Seska chair. And my table, while it's not um, real vintage, it has a vintage look to it. It has the um, old teak legs. And so again, that's just all tying itself together. It's just all the same type of furniture and style from the same period um, with complementary tones and that is how you kind of bring it all together. I feel like this room is a little eclectic. I feel like my personal space is not exactly um, true minimalist. I feel like a minimalist would be like there's way too many things on those shelves and rightfully so but I do believe that I'm taking a lot from the minimalist sort of um, design style by incorporating the neutral tones in a lot more negative space than the ordinary person if that makes any kind of sense. Um, it's not quite maximalist either. So I'm kind of like right in the middle there. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. So consider all of these tips. I hope they were helpful to you. If you enjoyed this video, make sure that you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so already. And um, comment down below. Let me know what your favorite um, parts of this room tour were. Um, thank you guys so much for watching this week. I'll see you in my next video.